A lot of speculation is the quarterback for the New York Giants. Is J.J. McCarthy the answer? Is that going to be the guy that take at number six? Talk about it right after this. <laughs> Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. And you guys can join Bet US by clicking the link in the description. You definitely want to take a look at that. Best offer going right now of any gambling app there is, or any betting app, if you will. As always, just bet responsibly. You can do a lot of betting. At BetUS, including who the Giants are going to take with their number one overall pick, which will be the sixth pick in the draft. J.J. McCarthy, this is a name that is certainly gaining momentum when it comes to the New York Giants. Uh, without question, uh, he had a decent combine, threw the ball really hard. Oh, he threw the ball hard. You know, Colin Kaepernick threw the ball 59 miles an hour. Um, throwing the ball doesn't really mean a lot. You have to be able to place the ball. You have to be able to process. You have to be able to do a lot of things besides throw the ball hard. It's like having a really good fastball, but having no changeup. It really doesn't matter. You have to have all the tools. Um, I'm going to go on record. I don't want JJ McCarthy at six. I, I don't never did. Never will. Don't really care for that pick. And I'm going to tell you if they take him at six on draft night, I'm not going to be a happy person. I can tell you that right now. Will I be as angry as when they took Daniel Jones? I probably won't be that angry, but I certainly will not be happy with the pick. That's my opinion. You certainly are allowed to give yours in the description. I don't know, or I'm sorry, in the comment section. I don't know when all this hoopla started for J.J. McCarthy. Um, again, I'm just an idiot with a camera. That's it. I'm an idiot with a camera and microphone. I'm a dumbass fan. I, I don't break down film i'm not i don't pretend to be that guy on youtube or social media look at me i can break down film well if you're really good at it why aren't you in the nfl or why aren't you in college or why aren't you doing it professionally if you're really good at it i don't pretend to be that guy i just watch that's all i can do and i just give my opinion based on what i see and nothing jumps out of me about jj mccarthy nothing yeah he's a winner he's a winner bad dog i mean okay He's a winner at the college level. There's a lot. Of, Tim Tebow was a winner at the college level. Tim Tebow won back-to-back -back championships and a Heisman, if I'm not mistaken. What do you do in the NFL? There's a lot of guys that win, that win at the collegiate level because their teams are so much better than the other teams are playing. And I'm not sitting here telling you that J.J. McCarthy can't be a star of the NFL or can't be a really good quarterback. Maybe he can. But the way I see it when I look at J.J. McCarthy is this. People crushed the contract that Daniel Jones got. Uh, $82 million guaranteed, $160 million show change to be fired. How can you take Daniel Jones? How can you re-sign Daniel Jones all that money? He beat up Minnesota, who's a terrible defensive team. Who cares that the Giants made the playoffs for the first time in God knows how many years, or six years? Who cares if they won a playoff game for the first time since they won a Super Bowl? None of that mattered. And Daniel Jones only had 22 total touchdowns. And you gave him $160 million. You got to be out of your mind. Again, you can take statistics for whatever they're worth. And statistics don't always tell the whole story. I understand that. J.J. McCarthy, in his last seven games at Michigan, seven, had a total of four touchdowns. Four. Now, three of them did come against Alabama. He had a good game against Alabama. I'll give him that. But so that means he had one touchdown total. This is passing and rushing. In six of those seven games, he had one. Well, they're not asking him to do too much, Bear Dog. You know, they didn't ask. He didn't need to do too much. Well, you know, Jones didn't need to do too much in 2022 either. And people killed him. Now, Obviously, it didn't work out because Daniel Jones got hurt again. Now he has a torn ACL. He was playing bad. I'm not saying Daniel Jones is the answer by any stretch of the imagination. I want to come out of this draft with a quarterback. Okay? 
I'm not, I'm not telling you any differently. But if you're going to get on Daniel Jones, then you're going to get on the contract about the fact that he only threw 15 touchdowns, he only had 22 t- total touchdowns, and then you're going to spend the sixth overall pick on a guy that had you know, four total touchdowns in the last seven games. And the team went on to win a championship, which tells you how great the team was and that how much of a part of it was he really. It just concerns me. Because when you look at Michigan, they had a really good offensive line. Blake Corum, he's going to go in the NFL. I think Michigan had six linemen go to the combine, if I'm not mistaken. Six. Daniel Jones, I think, had three guys from Duke invited to the combine. Okay, when he played at Duke. I mean, again, I'm not trying to compare. I guess I am trying to compare J.J. McCarthy to Daniel Jones. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't want J.J. McCarthy at six. I don't want that. We took Daniel Jones at six. I felt like it was a massive reach. Well, that was a real massive reach. J.J. McCarthy would not be as big of a reach at six as Daniel Jones was. That's still a big reach to me. I don't Because I feel like these players get all this pressing tide of momentum, and they get, oh, it's just a hot name. Got to have them. J.J. McCarthy would be coming to a team that has a horrific offensive line, unless this is fixed in free agency. A running game that is a massive question because we don't even know if Barkley's coming back here or not. Now, granted, we'll know this stuff by the time the draft rolls around, so it'll be a little bit different at that point. I got to say that. I mean, we don't know now. It'll, we'll, we'll have a much more clear picture going into the draft at the end of April what the Giants are actually going to look like. But regardless, Barkley or no Barkley, we've seen the Giants running game is not great. We know this offensive line is not good. Okay, not good, not average, below average, not even below average. They suck. They suck. Now, people can say Brian Dable, he's going to fix JJ McCarthy. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe JJ McCarthy and Brian Dable will be fantastic. Maybe it will be. I don't see it. I don't see, I don't see him being sixth overall. I just feel like there's a, a massive drop from the first three guys in the draft that are the consensus top three quarterbacks in this draft class to J.J. McCarthy. I, I, I just, that's, again, that's just my opinion. I see the same thing in Bo Nix. I think McCarthy's better than Nix, but I don't really think one is much better than the other. I think J.J. McCarthy is a hard worker. I think he's got decent skills. I think he benefited from a great college team. That's the way I look at it. And I feel like it would be a big mistake if the Giants reached for him at six, I would much rather them. I don't even want a lineman in this draft either. I just don't. I don't really know what the hell I want. I want a quarterback. At the same time, I would want a receiver. We have so many holes in in this team. But there's people that sit there and say, well, you got to build a line before you get the quarterback. And then the same people are saying they want to get J.J. McCarthy. And I don't understand how you can sit here and say that. I don't get it. I just don't see it. Now, if he fell the 39, which he's not going to, if the Giants took him in the second round, I wouldn't have a problem with that. At six, I have a problem with it. I still don't want him at 39. I'm just not a big J.J. McCarthy, man. I don't know what to tell you. But is he the answer for the Giants? Like, do you look at J.J. McCarthy? And again, this is hard to decide in college. I understand that. But do, do you see a guy that, like, jumps off the page? You see otherworldly talent. And, and it doesn't even really matter. Because we've seen otherworldly talent come into the NFL not be very good at all. This is really a crapshoot, but I feel like a lot of these quarterbacks, really what their success level in the NFL depends on the pieces around them. What I see when I look at J.J. McCarthy is not a guy that elevates his teammates. You look at the game against Penn State, Michigan ran the ball 20 straight times, he threw eight passes against Penn State. I look at games like that and say he's not asked to carry a team. And again, the four total touchdowns in the last seven games tells me Michigan did not ask him to do much of anything. Where you come to the Giants, you're going to have to carry this team because this team ain't going to carry you. Okay? Now, maybe J.J. McCarthy can get better. Maybe the Giants can build around him. Maybe Shane and Dave will figure this whole thing out. Maybe they're patient with him. Maybe by year three, he's kicking ass. That would be awesome. Me personally, I think it's a mistake to take him at six. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. 
But again, these are just my opinions from an idiot with a camera. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Would you be happy with J.J. McCarthy at six? Would you be upset with J.J. McCarthy at six? Do you not give a shit about J.J. McCarthy at six? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Join us new Monday. Bandicoot Dizzle. Gone. Peace.